what's up guys it's me gypsy girl sorry it's been a while since i posted it's been a long weekend anyway i get a video for you guys today this one that i'm doing is bulvalia island this one has actually been featured on ghost adventures also anyway in the south lagoons between Venice and ledo sits the small italy Italian island of Bavaria that for centuries has been a figure stronghold place for exile and a dumping ground for the deceased, dying and deceased. <clears throat> In 421, Bavaria welcomed its first inhabitants, men, women, and children who fled the barbaric Invades, invaders that would had ravished the mainland. Its relatively small size made the island definitely and not worth the trouble of invading arms. For centuries, this small community lived in peace and avoided the laws and the taxes of the mainland. Their population dwelled, however, by the 14th century. The island was once again abandoned. In 1348, the Bubonac Plague arrived in Venice and Bovalia, like many other small islands, became quarantine colony. The plague killed one out of three Europeans fearing the unbridled spread of the disease. Venice exiled many of its symptoms bearing citizens there. It was clearly a death sentence as at the island center the death the dead and those too sick to protest were burned on ancient pri priors giant prize this included the tens of thousands of venice citizens dying on the mainland these fires would burn once more in 1630 when the black death again swept through the city Long after the fires were extinguished, Napoleon's military campaigns re relied, campaigning relied on the island's ghostly legend and definitely position to protect stories of stores of gunpowder and weapons. In the late 1800s, the area's military mentally ill residents in an asylum in Bulvalia. The asylum was poor conditioned and was used as a place of exile rather than rehabilitation. There are rumors that in the 1930s a doctor performed strange experiments on the patients here. Eventually the doctor went mad and threw himself from the asylum tall bell tower throughout the bell in the tower thought that the bell in the tower was removed decades ago locals still claim to hear its chimes echo from the long island from the lonely island by the mid 20th century the facility was converted into a Generatic Center, which closed in 1975. Today, the entire island is abandoned. Locusts and tourists are prohibited from visiting. The fishermen steer clear of the accursed place. In, eight, in recent years, Italy construction crews attempted to restore the former hospital building but abruptly stopped without explanation, leaving locals to speculate that they were driven, uh, driven
driven away by the island's dark forces. Wow. If you guys actually, like, want to sit there and, like, go read about this, go for it. I mean, like, the history about it is just amazing. Anyway, I'll have another video for you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment below if you guys have any suggestions of places you want me to look up. I've been working on one for a while now, the Spider Gate Cemetery. If anyone has any other information on it, please leave it down below. And thank you guys. Have a great day.